What up guys, I'm going to show you how to use a fender roller so that you can do your fenders yourself at home. But uh, first thing you want to do is possibly investing in a fender roller like this. You can uh, either hire it or buy it or maybe see if you know one of your friends have one. Um, I'm sure most of you guys who are in, in, interested in cars uh, and are part of the car community will know someone who's got one of these lying around. So, to start off with, um, this this lever over here operates this arm. Now this arm adjusts like this when you turn this in or out. So by doing that you can bring this arm further in or, or, or further away from the fender itself. And then next we have this over here. This is just a, a screw top. This when you loosen this, this piece extends so from here, it can extend further out or back in. Now, over here, we have this piece over here. So when you loosen this, this roller will move like this. So you want to first start off with this, not too much of an angle, so that when you start rolling the fender, it doesn't want to fold it back in too soon, and then by doing that you can actually end up cracking the paint or, or rolling the fender the slip incorrectly okay and the way this this device bolts onto the wheel you actually just use your wheel nuts or your bolts um, so you want to take your wheel off keep your nuts and this fits right on fits on multiple PCDs my wheel is 5x1 on 4.3 and uh, as you can see it's got um, all these adapter holes so this thing just bolts up Real nice. Okay, so now that I have this thing fully adjusted in the place that I want, you'll see this is how you start rolling it. Mm. So you can actually hear it going. And unfortunately, with this car, the uh, the radius of this fender isn't quite round. So what it seems like I'm going to have to do is do as much as I can on this section, lower this piece just the angle and then I can do this over here and then I'm going to have to adjust it again for this last section over here ok sweet guys so the fender rolling has been done yeah I'll give you a quick look you can see this is where I didn't roll now all up over here is where I rolled <laughs> you can see how flat it is it's been flattened up a little bit of paint damage but uh you can see that it's been flattened out and then they are stopped so it gives me all this clearance I did push it a little bit further just I wanted to see how far that disc can stretch because I do need this to come this piece of the fender I actually need it to come further out so I can try and cover the wheel a little bit but the idea is flaring it and then um, putting see you can see this one there's no space on this one so as soon as this baby squats it's just going to hit so the idea is to flare it as much as possible and then I can actually make um, proper fenders and uh, have them come down a little bit lower the reason why I want to do this is because I want to avoid doing any cutting so I'd hate to cut on the body so yeah that's it